Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this surgery. We see the pupil is mid dilated, and we will see later that the patient is having mild floppiness of the iris. The main incision it then goes visco 2% HPMC and fills off the anterior chamber and now this is a bit of adrenaline. I should have put the adrenaline before applying visco but it has worked a bit. People has dilated a little more. The size of the people at this moment is very much adequate. It is about 6.5 millimeter. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. We can see mild bleeding at the incision sites and this is good. And now capsular axis is being done with the coaxial illumination of Lumera T microscope. Rexis is done and it is adequate. The patient is diabetic for the last 16 years and has mild NPDR and blood sugar is controlled at this moment. It is less than 180 milligram per DL. Hydrodissection is done and now how to manage this nucleus? If I try to make a trench then it's okay but the part which is left which is a thin plate of nucleus it doesn't tend to divide so what I do nowadays in diabetic cataract is use this pre chopper the light right hand instrument is a pre chopper designed by Dr. Sohilir Fan Khan and the left hand instrument is called a sustainer it is like a neto chopper Dr. Neto Rosatelli of Brazil he uses this kind of chopper. I have divided the nucleus into two heminuclei and then one heminucleus has been subdivided into two parts. Now I am rotating the nucleus and inject visco again and now I take the pre chopper again and divide this heminucleus which has not been divided. So the nucleus has been divided, two heminucleus is completely separate. The on heminucleus, each heminucleus is may not be completely separate. We will see that in a short time. This diabetic cataracts are very sticky. They don't, you cannot separate the pieces if some fibers are joined to each other. They resist a lot. But this piece is coming easily because it is completely separate from other pieces. And at this time we see that the people is becoming small, the iris is moving up and down and it is dilating and constricting. So this is mild floppiness of the iris. The iris hasn't prolapsed through the ports. And this heminucleus is not nicely separate. But there is a crack and with the help of this neto chopper, we could divide the nucleus 
into pieces. Nitto chopper is the best, best instrument for horizontal chop. It goes along the equator safely. The ball tip is very friendly to the posterior capsule and it's a nice instrument for soft cataracts. I have started using this recently for soft cataracts and I find it very useful. And here it is, the last bit of epinucleus. And now I ask my assistant to go to coaxial illumination and I find this cortex here. I try to remove the cortex by the phaco tip itself but I find it dangerous and come out. Now I inject visco again to fill the interior chamber. And now I start removing the cortex with a Simco cannula. This instrument is very friendly to the capsule and you can control the vacuum instantly if you train your hands. Yes, all the cortex has been removed. Checked it by coaxial illumination. And now, since the people has become small, I take help of Visco to implant the intraocular lens. I am using a B cartridge. For that, I am enlarging the main wound just by 0.1 millimeter. And how to enlarge and gaze at the wound and the it should not be tilted like this, then it go will go towards cornea. Rather it tilt towards sclera a bit and you will get a extension towards sclera. This extend towards sclera. And here goes the intraocular lens. Hope it has gone in the capsular bag hope because we don't know, we can't see the excess margin. But how we can check? We can retract the iris with the help of a oil hook and we can check whether it is in the capsular bag or not. At this time, I am irrigating the visco, irrigating it out. Go behind the lens, irrigate the capsular bag. If we irrigate the capsular bag, most of the visco from the capsular bag comes out. And the chance of raised IOP in the postoperative period will be very, very less. And now, the irrigating probe or bimanual IA goes, irrigates the angle, aspiration goes. Now I irrigate the capsular bag and keep the aspiration probe just in front of the intraocular lens and in this way most of the visco molecules are removed find that the lens is not nicely centered so I rotate the nucleus, rotate the intraocular lens and make it nicely centered. This is a bit of moxie. Now I hydrate the side ports
at this time I should not use this in this way. There is no visco in the anterior chamber. I should have checked it when there was visco inside. However, I came out before the anterior chamber became very shallow. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. All the integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface. Thank you very much for your attention of this video it will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.